Rice is an important crop for food and nutrition security in Nigeria and grows well in all the six geopolitical zones of the country. Considering the importance of Rice Farmers Africa Rice and National Cereal Research Institute, NCRI initiated a program to provide farmers with skills on quality rice seed, weeders, and rice advice. Farmers are advised in the best way to produce their rice that are going to get high yield. This technology has entire rice processing from, from production to the harvest period in order to get good yield and good quality seed. Total demand for rice in Nigeria is put at about 5 million metric tons MT a year of which about 3.7 million metric tons is produced locally. Parboiling is usually done using rudimentary methods and equipment, and this usually leads to rise of low quality, reducing both the market value and the demand for this rice. In most cases, Traditionally, processed rice appears unattractive with a poor taste as it is usually mixed with impurities picked up at the farm level and along the rice processing chain. Nigeria, which is the most populous country in Africa, is one of the highest importers of rice in the continent, estimated annually at about $1 billion. This scenario is not sustainable and has thus attracted the attention of the government and its partners. Africa Rice and its partners developed a modern rice per boiling system called GEM and through the Bukan City Innovative Platform in Lafia, the SAD SC project funded by the Africa Development Bank installs the GEM rice per boiler with women and youth as key beneficiaries. Gem parboiling technology builds on the mechanism of uniform steam distribution within the parboiling system. The soaking processes and the steaming processes are, have been engineered so that they significantly reduce drain breakages. Objective of the program is to enhance food and nutrition security and contribute to reducing poverty in Africa including Nigeria. The key output we expect is to enhance their capacity in terms of their skills on how to better parboil rice, improve the quality of their parboiled rice so that they can get better market. We now brought in a modern equipment we facilitated the self-organization of the participants in terms of the stakeholders. So the, the platform here is in an advanced state. The GEM technology combined by the use of a uniform stem per boiler, efficient party soaking vessels, an improved stove, water transfer system, labor saving device and an improved drying surface. The most important advantages of the technology are decreased steaming time from 1 hour to 25 minutes, decreased usage of firewood, time and labor saving, increase in market value of the rice. During the three and a half months intensive training of diverse economic actors, in the rice value chain, 1,215 beneficiaries have been trained how to produce good quality per boiled rice as they work together in the IP. We were told that a long and non hairy paddy is the best. Also, the measure content is important. It should not be more than 15%. Apart from identification of good paddy, it is also important to wash it three times to ensure that all stones and dirt particles are removed before soaking the paddy into a hot water in the soaking tank. After draining the water from soaking tank, stemming takes approximately 24 minutes using the parboiler consisting of a stainless steel mesh basket 
that sits on a support in a stainless steel tank. The tank is closed by tight-fitting lid that reduces heat loss, but the system is not pressurized. My name is Paulina Michael from Akwanga. Truly, I have seen changes. The gem process is more easier, no much difficulties, and at the end, you have better rice that everybody wants to buy. The trainees were practically seen evacuating the steamed rice to the special drying slab in an easy and less risky way. The rice is dried in such a manner that its cleanliness is maintained by providing them with shoes, rakes and tarpaulin. The main vision of this IP is to see the improvement of rice productivity in Nigeria to compete with all other rice over the world. Now that the training is over since 6th of October 2016, how far have the trainees gone in using the technology in their various enterprises? Before, when we bring rice, we don't even blow it. We just pack the rice into the drum, put water with the date inside. But now, with the jam uh, technology, we wash our rice thoroughly. The rice will be as clean as anything. No sand, no stones, nothing. Now my market is moving us. Perfect as anything. She engaged a welder to fabricate the steaming basket and also employed some processors to work for her. The processors are also making money for themselves. My name is Rita Tokli. I have not attended the training, but when they finished the training, Madam Tabita started practicing what they have learned there, and we decided to come and work for her to be paying us. I am an internally displaced person. The only problem now is that sometimes we stay for some days without paddy to parboil, but I think when harvest starts proper, there will be no idle time for us again. We thank Madam Tabitha and Africa Rise for this opportunity. According to Madam Tabitha Ilya, the market opportunity is enormous, but the major constraint is inadequate capital to expand the parboiling business. She therefore appeals for a soft loan to enable her grow in the business. Mr. Rabo has become an agent of change since attending the GEM training. The training I attended with Africa Rice on GEM Rice Power Boiling Technology is helping my life. With the knowledge I gained, I am now making more money. Usman Umar, who also left the training center with enthusiasm, is now making effort to adopt the good practices of rice per boiling he learned. I'm making more money now that I'm using the technology. I have seven people working under me. I used to pay them 3,500 naira each anytime they work for me. Martha Shagari is also one of the trained parboilers. She lives in a village called Lamga, with a distance of about seven kilometers from Lafia, the state capital. After the training, Martha made effort to adopt the rice gem parboiling system in full. The mesh basket, the steaming port with a fabricated ring to protect the basket, the soaking tank, the stove to prevent loss of heat and ensure efficient energy utilization in addition to other good for boiling practices. I engaged the services of some artisans to make the drums for me. You can see the stove. I try to do it like the one that showed us in the IP center. This one has reduced the amount of firewood I use by about 60%. I am seeing a good result. Martha Shagari averagely perboils three bags of 120 kg at a time and she perboils twice a week. However, in spite of the achievements, Martha Shagari's enterprise is not without challenges. We don't have enough water. 
Anytime I want to parboil, I have to go far to fetch water. I also take the rice to the milling center in Latvia. I believe you have seen the distance and the nature of the road. I thank you for sacrificing your time to come here. I thank Africa Rice. I thank all of them. They really helped my life. Mata Shagari says she is willing to take loan and expand the business if she knows where and how to get it. Sarah Tuyakubu is a member of Adel Cheaper Boilers Group in Kwandere area of Lafia. Before adoption of the technology, I sell 20 kilograms of parboiled rice at 3,500 naira. But now, I sell it at 5,500 naira per 20 kilograms because my rice is now looking good. Selena Marcos from Aimoji Parboilers Group also embraced the change. After the training, I try to adapt the technology, but my problem is the issue of capital. I am just coming back from market where I sold the one I parboiled. My life is better off. At Madame Selina's house was her IP member, Rukaya Ibrahim, who came to visit her. Sometimes, if I don't have paddy, I come here to help her. We put heads together. Our problem now is inadequate capital. Buyers of the new rice were seen trooping to the center for purchase as they reveals their perception about the commodity. I know about this rice. When I came around, I saw them processing the rice. I checked and I saw that the rice has a very good quality. I bought it once. When we use it, it is very good. It tastes good. My wife likes it. And since then, we've been buying rice here. I came here to buy this rice. I heard about it from a friend. When I came, I saw the rice is very good. The new innovation is fantastic. If you look at the quality and look at the cleanness of the rice, what is the view of the local authority on the project and how can it be sustained? I am there for calling on all, on all and sundry to cooperate with this project and to give their maximum support to the African rice. 